Well, you talked about uh, how you hated that Blackish ended. Oh, yeah. And, and you felt like it was really a money thing at the end. Yeah, I think so. That's just me. But, yeah, it was... Uh... Yeah, that show could have went. I just... I just wish we would have all went in there together. I wish we'd all walked in there together like Modern Family did, like Friends did, like all these iconic shows. I wish we'd have just went in there together and we all did our deals together. You stronger together, you know? Well, you had eight seasons and if you really think about it, and you know, I've talked to a lot of people who are involved in sitcoms and they're like, you know, I remember I was talking to, um, Dark Child, you know, he did the music for uh, Empire, and I'm like, oh, were you bad that it ended? And I mean, he's like, yo, when we had, was it five, six seasons? Yeah, like, That's yeah. a good run. It's a great run. You guys had eight seasons. No, we had a good, so, no, phenomenal you know, I mean, run. I understand no one wants a great thing to end, but an eight-season run of a sitcom on a, a national major network, you could pat yourself on the back for that. Right, but I didn't, but I did not say we should go in and get more money on the eighth season. I'm talking about season three. Oh. Season three, okay. we should have went in that motherfucker and been like, <laughs> hey, y'all, we need to talk. We we need to have a conversation. That's what we should have did. That's what I'm saying. But as we went on, went on, and I guess people wanted more money, and it just didn't happen. I guess they was like, nah, I guess. And so it ended. So that's why it ended, because I think certain so. people were demanding an amount of money that just wasn't feasible for the project? I wouldn't say that. I don't know what people was asking for, but I know, I know I'm quite sure they was asking for more money than what they was getting. And so because ABC wasn't paying that, they was like, shit, what do we, why are we, why we still doing this? When I'm going, well, why y'all asking for that now? We should have been asked for that in season three, and then we would have been good. Huh. And we'd have just had our money then. We could have just went in all together and did it. And I think we didn't do that. Abbott Elementary just got re-signed and everybody over there got nice money. Everybody mm. bumped up, everybody in the, the six figures and everybody good and the show is going and they all happy. And and I just be like, man, I wonder why we, I hate that we didn't do that. And you were on for all eight seasons, right? No, no. I wasn't. I came in season one uh-huh. And then, oh no, no, I was in there for all eight, I'm yeah, tripping. Yeah, I was there for all eight seasons. Yeah. Yes, I was, yes, I was. I just wasn't there the full seasons of okay. episode uh, of season one and two. I think Got I it. probably did like eight episodes season one, another eight season two, you know, something like that. But then the rest of the seasons, I was there the, the entire time. One of my members on YouTube, uh, Reggie D103079, he asked a pretty interesting question. He said, do you feel like Blackish and Grownish did a good job modernizing the blueprint laid out by the Cosby show in a different world? I think that it was his own, but yeah, I mean, any show like that before our show was, I mean, we definitely was influenced, yeah. you know what I mean? But we had our own spin on something, you know? Well, it, was, it, was, it was three generations living in one house, dealing with being Black in America today. You had a younger generation who only knew a black president. Mm. <laughs> you had the grandfather who ain't never seen nothing like that. And then you had the the father and the mother who was living through both Saw eras. both sides. And so therefore, there was, that, there was never a dynamic like that. You know what I mean? And so therefore, that made that show original like that. You know what I mean? 